What's up everyone, Tristan Parker here and in this video we are talking homepage design secrets for a highly converting website or a high converting landing page. Here's the problem, a lot of designers and especially new ones tend to think that the best measure for their website success is based around how it looks. And actually a lot of business owners measure the success of a website based on that as well. But that's where things can go wrong. There's actually a lot more things that you need to consider in order for a website to be successful. You've got business strategy, you've got business goals. What is the product? What are you trying to sell? All of those things mixed in with a bunch of user experience, then you have a bunch of variables, which then you can measure the success of a website. But ultimately, all of these things will work together and circulate around generating business leads or selling product. Am I right? With that in mind, a lot of the responsibility will come down to the homepage. Now, you have to think of your homepage as a type of sales pitch, and that is because about 99% of your traffic will land on your homepage first. So this is a massive opportunity for you to capture the attention and sell. We do this by telling a story by the user starting at the top and we will guide that user through a journey all the way down to the bottom of the page where ultimately your final call to action will be there. But today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to treat your homepage a little bit differently. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you need to do to your own website to start getting better results. So here we have a homepage in a very low fidelity wireframe form and just scrolling through as you can see that it actually looks like your traditional home page in terms of layout but we are approaching this a little bit differently now right at the top you've got your header now there's not really a lot to talk about here because it does what it needs to do it is a header and a navigation but underneath that we have what is called our value proposition essentially the value proposition is what tells the user when they visit exactly what it is that we do or what it is that we have to offer to them and i'm sure you know because users are incredibly impatient that you only statistically have around eight to ten seconds to entice them before they decide to leave that value proposition needs to be incredibly strong and powerful our value proposition for our digital marketing agency digital bloom could be using modern digital marketing techniques to get you online fast and to grow if you're selling a product let's use digital cameras for example then your value proposition might be uh, let's say capturing those impossible moments even better I mean don't quote me on that I don't know an awful lot about digital cameras don't forget you only have around eight to ten seconds before that user decides that they might want to leave so underneath you'll see that we have these gray boxes now i would usually use this as an opportunity to add a little bit of social proof and by doing this i would add some of the logos of the companies that have either recommended us have mentioned us spoken about us or that we have had the pleasure of working with and you can do that whether you're surface based or product based so below that we then move into benefits now i must stress that we put benefits and not features benefits always come first so remember this is like a sales pitch and we're trying to sell to our users and the best way that we can do that is to tell them how having our product or service is going to benefit them for the better so for example as a digital marketing agency our benefits might be that you would have increased leads increased conversion more site exposure through seo x y and z or if you're selling digital cameras then your benefits might be being able to take more professional photography at ease once you've covered those benefits then then we can scroll down and start talking about the features. This is where we can get into the more technical stuff of our service or product. So as a digital marketing agency, our features might be web design or search engine optimization or pay-per-click or branding and all of those typical things. However, if you are selling a product, your features on a camera, for example, might be your shutter speed or how much light the lens lets in, all of those other more technical things that you think the user would be interested in. So remember we are taking them on a journey and they are slowly making their way down the page and learning more about the product. Underneath the features we then move into social proof. Now social proof is really important because essentially people buy from people and now within social proof we can use this as an opportunity to either mention reviews that we've had on the product or our service or testimonials. So hearing from real life people that have used our service or product and that then helps validate all of the points that we have mentioned above by way of hearing it from people that have already worked
worked with us or bought our product. So remember, we're sending this user on a journey from our value proposition. We're then telling them how they're going to benefit from it. We're talking to them about more of the technical features. We are validating all of the things and backing up everything that we said by way of people that have used our product or have worked with us. And then finally, we are hitting them with that all important call to action. Now, the call to action will vary depending on your business goals. So for example, us as a digital marketing agency, our call to action might be to get in touch or request a quote. But if you are selling a product, then essentially your main call to action would be to buy that product. And that is where you would place it at the foot of the page. So once they've reached the end of that journey, bang, buy this product. Now, underneath the call to action, we just have our traditional footer. Now, there's not really a lot to say here, but apart from start using this as more of a SEO based opportunity. So the links that we find in here are often internal based and they will link through to areas of the site that we haven't been able to reference in our main head navigation. There's also a call to action down here, which is to sign up to a newsletter and stay in touch. And then underneath we have options for linking out to social medias. Now, before we finish up with this homepage layout, which is designed to increase conversions, I just want to move back up to the top and talk a little bit more about the call to action. So you will see in this hero section, I have a call to action up in the main navigation. Now I often use this as an opportunity to call one of the navigation items out. So for example, you could have this as a button and you could have it to either buy the product straight away or get in touch with you if you are service-based. Also underneath the value proposition, there is another call to action. So again, right above the fold, we have two opportunities to drive the user to where we want them to go. So one final thing to take away is the importance of call to actions and how strategically placing them around your site can really help you produce a higher converting landing page or a home page that will generate more leads. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you've been able to take something away from that and you can start producing really decent, high quality landing pages and home pages that are designed to increase sales, which ultimately is what all businesses want. If you guys wanna learn more about how you create professional and successful websites, then just go head over to my channel and there are more videos that can help you with that journey. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, then hit me in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already guys, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. But for now, I will catch you in the next one.